The lack of affordable housing is the biggest obstacle impacting Hoosiers and native a place to call home. That's according to U.S. Senator Todd Young. WRTV's Meredith Hackler breaks down the senator's plan to fix this issue and shares how one person navigating the affordable housing landscape feels things should be done. Increasing housing stock, lowering costs, and revitalizing distressed neighborhoods. Three things Senator Todd Young feels will solve the issues of affordable housing in the state of Indiana and across the country. The Yes in My Backyard Act, the Neighborhood Homes uh, uh, Investment Act would take blighted properties and create a mechanism to bring in, to crowd in private investment and turn those into uh, housing stock so that people have affordable housing options. Senator Todd Young also supports strengthening the low income housing tax credit, which he says would provide an additional 44,500 housing units, something needed across the state, including in communities like Kokomo. People that were participating in affordable housing um, in a contract with the state, their contracts are running out and instead of renewing them, they're usually selling off the property and then the new owners don't proceed down that path or renew a contract with the state either. Lottie Schaefer is a Kokomo veteran who is currently in permanent supportive housing. It's uh, really hard to find housing if you really don't have any money. Some green peppers, and then we got banana peppers. She says she's always dreamed of owning a home, but has never been able to afford one. I've always wanted to buy a home, but never could. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have two kids, and I've always lived in, like, had apartments with them or at my parents, and um, because of the, the low amount of pay I got. Senator Young feels for people like Schaefer, the answer is to create more housing stock. It is housing stock. So if wages aren't keeping up with uh, housing inflation, one way we can address housing inflation is to put more houses on the market, lowering the price of houses, allowing each dollar of wage to go further. Housing advocates say these policies need to come with support because navigating buying a home can be complicated, especially for low income people. It's not something that is achieved lightly. It takes a lot of work and working alongside a counselor to break down a game plan, know what it takes to become a homeowner. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. And Senator Todd Young says two of his policies have bipartisan support.